In this video example for Omega 4.0, we're going to show how to use the new back cut dialog box in GSP plot to create a new back cut decal that has a traditional front cut as well as a back cut. And we're going to do it all through one simple dialog box in GSP plot. So you start off with a traditional front print front cut decal, such as what you see here. So you have cuts in the middle. I'm sorry, prints in the middle and a cut around the outside edge. And next from here we're going to select this outermost cut and go in tools and outline. And I'm going to add a 0.05 inch outline just like any other time. Now this outermost outline we just created, we want it to be a cut only outline. We're actually going to use this as our back cut data. So to, to do this, we're going to go into view and then show layer manager. And we're gonna actually move this outline onto its own layer. So I'm gonna right click on it and then I'm gonna move to a new layer you get a message about smart edit operations and uh, layers just click on continue and then go into that other layer or select this layer data and be sure that it's cut only so you want to turn off any fills turn off any strokes just to be sure and just to see what this second layer data looks like you can hide or show your layers and I'm just going to leave it like that. And this is optional. If you'd like to, you can go into the second layer and rename it. This will make it easier when we're in plot to discern between the original front cut decal and the back cut decal. From here, go File, Output All. and this opens up GSP plot. In GSP plot, you set up all your parameters like you normally would, such as, uh, such as your repeats, reverse, whatever you need. You just set it up as normal. So I'll do three and seven, F6 to view them all. And next, we're going to use our new tool, which is the back cut dialog box. This is under file, and then back cut. And in this case, because we created the back cut data in Composer and put it on a layer, we want to use cut layer information for our back cut. And before we renamed that back cut layer to be back cut. Now for cut rules, this dialog box includes all the links and all the information you need to create a back cut. So you can go in and say that I want my rules for my back cut to be slightly different. So you might want slightly more force for your back cut dialog box. And you can do that. So you click on your layer, change your force, click on set and go OK. You can also, if you wish, you can enter in an automatic back slit, horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. In this case, I'm just going to leave it to none. For targets in Omega 4.0, when using, when creating back cut decals you, you just use a single traditional target just like you always do with a regular Gerber edge job what you can do is set your number of crosshair cuts to be more than one so th what what it's going to do is cut through your original crosshair that you use to align your front cut edge job It's going to cut through it four times to create a slit that you're able to see when you flip over your vinyl and do your back cut so I'm going to actually click on preference. I'm going to leave this on all the time so it's easier for me. I don't have to remember. So just one single target. I'll use center left, just like you usually do. And then finally, where do you want to send the information? In this case, I'll send it to devices. I'll click on OK. And what it's going to do, it's actually going to send my regular front print information to my Gerber edge. It's going to send two jobs to my vinyl cutter. It's going to send job number one as my regular traditional front cut information and then it's going to send job number two as my back cut information. 
and it's going to allow me to do my printing on my edge, move it over to my vinyl cutter and cut it as I usually do, flip it over, and you, you flip it over in the short axis so that so the target is going to remain at the front of the cutter when you reload it once you flip it over. So you just flip it over and then you load it back in, you align to the slit and the second job is already there at your vinyl cutter. Ready to go. Also, just to look at a couple of the other options in this back cut dialog box, you can all also send your information to a spool file and even view the spool file if you wish to or you can send it to your, directly to your devices and to a spool file if you wish and you still have the option to view that spool file. In terms of spool files you can do Omega 4.0 allows for the creation of a single spool file that includes all front print information all your traditional front cut information as well as your back cut information so everything stays together in a single spool file with your front print front cut and back cut information if you're going to be sending output jobs to older systems that are pre Omega 4.0 you can also just generate traditional spool files where you just have your front print and front cut data in one spool file and your back cut data in a second spool file and the second spool file automatically gets renamed to have the word back in front of it so you can find it or back cut and that's it it's much simplified to create front print front cut and back cut or liner cut decals in Omega 4.0